So today's video is going to be the 10 things they don't tell you about afterbirth. So um, I had a little message to start. This is a little bit graphic and if you're a bit squeamish I would turn off this video now. So number one is you have no privacy at all after giving birth. Uh, the nurses um, just whip out your boob to feed the baby. Um, they go to the bathroom with you. They go to the shower with you. You have to, for your first pee after having a baby, you have to pee into a little cardboard thing and they have to check the blood that way. So yeah, you have absolutely no privacy after having a baby whatsoever. Yeah. Who's awake? Who's awake? You wanna say hi? Yeah, you wanna say hi? Hey ma 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 ma. So Connor just woke up. So if you hear some screeching in the background, it's just him. So number two is the pain. Oh my god. The pain is so bad. Um, the pain from stitches, if you have stitches, but even just the pain in general from if you didn't get stitches, it's still quite sore. Um, it's hard to walk. Um, it's hard to sit. It's hard to do anything. You just, just have to bear with it. It's just so painful. Which brings me on to number three, which is you still get contractions. Yeah, you still get contractions. <coughs> you get contractions for a couple of hours after you have the baby. Um, you get contractions while breastfeeding. Um, you get contractions when the baby cries. I couldn't believe when I heard that. I knew I was getting contractions when he cried, but I thought it was just because I was still getting contractions from the afterbirth. But I had a little pamphlet that they gave me and in it it says that when your baby cries you get contractions which is just crazy to me. Next is the bleeding. This is where it's going to get graphic. So the bleeding is very, very, very heavy. They give you like almost a nappy. <laughs> they give you a nappy. Um, but I don't know if it's for everybody. My bleeding was so heavy I had to have three nappies on at the same time. So, and I had the epidural. So when, so after, I had to wait six hours before I could get out of bed so the epidural would wear off. And but sure, by that stage, I had soaking through my bed clothes, um, which is really embarrassing. The nurse had to walk me to the bathroom because it's very scary walking for the first time after your legs being numb for hours um, so yeah and she had to change my bed clothes and everything but that heavy bleeding went on for four weeks, four weeks after four, yeah for about four weeks and it was as heavy as it was when I just had them so that's not pretty Number five, you can't leave the hospital until you've had a poop. And they ask and ask and ask and ask and ask if you've had a poop yet. And with every meal that you got, they gave you two slices of brown bread um, to make you poop. So um, that's not pretty either. Um, and when you do for the first time after you've had your baby, it's so scary, especially if you have stitches, because you just don't want to burst your stitches or whatever. So it's very, very scary. Number six is, after you've had your baby, you're on your own. The nurses just leave you and just expect you to know what to do. So I was really surprised about this one, because they were so nice when I was in labour. Um, they were coming in, checking on me, they were just talking away, they were making sure everything was okay. They were there like the whole time and and everything. So after I had given birth to them, a nurse came in 
dressed him, um, started me off breastfeeding, and that was the last time I seen her. That was it. Um, she, I only found out when I was leaving that there was a little button just above the bed that I could press if I needed anything, but they never told me about that button. Um, so I had to find out where I changed a snappy by myself. Um, they didn't. They didn't give him a bath until I asked them to. Um, we were just about to leave, and um, I was just—they rushed me. They really rushed me out. I woke up that morning, and they told me that I have to pack my stuff out to leave. They needed the bed. So I was just really surprised how nice they were while I was in labour, and then afterwards they just didn't care. Um, yeah, well, I wanted to give them a bath, and um, I had to ask them, could I give them a bath? And it was kind of like a hassle to them. They were kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I suppose. And for changing his nappy, um, I went for a little walk down the corridor just to kind of keep my legs going, and I found a little room, and it had little tables on it and stuff, and there was a woman in there, yeah. There was a woman in there changing her baby, so I thought, oh, that's where we must bring him. So when I went down, um, I brought him down, and the woman was still there, and I hadn't a clue where to get anything. So um, she had to tell me where to get everything and kind of give me a hand. I, I changed nappies before. I changed nappies before. I've looked after babies before, but not ever at that new newborn. So I was quite scared. So she helped me, not a nurse, another woman who just had a baby so yeah, that was one that I was quite surprised with. Number seven is your boobs. When your milk comes in your boobs are out of here and they're so heavy and so sore and you just can't do anything about it because I I stopped breastfeeding while I was in the hospital so I had no way of of getting the milk out or anything and so so it was just so painful that night I was going to bed I was just sore all over and I couldn't sleep anyway because my boobs would move and it would be so sore and so that's not fun so Connor is going to join us now because he doesn't want to be lying down anymore excuse you so uh, number eight Number eight is your back will hurt for the rest of your life if you get an epidural. Um, my back is still sore. And I'm only three and a half months postpartum. But um, if I'm walking or standing for a long period of time, if I'm sitting in a certain way for a long period of time, um, I do the nails. Um, if you checked out my new channel, I'm just in one of the videos, um, I do the nails as well and leaning over to do the nails uh, it's only an hour to do but my back just be so sore to the point where I'm nearly crying and I have to lie down I have to do something to kind of make it better um, I went to I went to the M&M concert uh, that was here a couple of weeks ago and it was in Slane Castle so it was an hour and a half walk down from where you got off the bus to the actual concert and then we stood for eight hours at the concert and an hour and a half walk back and I couldn't even walk back my boyfriend literally had to carry me my boyfriend and my friend's boyfriend had to carry me to the bus because I could not walk if I had it taken a couple of steps I would have collapsed my back was so sore and it just felt like that like my bones in my back were just collapsing on each other so oh, it was just very painful and I know it's going to affect me for the rest of my life because it still affects my mum. My mum had to go for an MRI a couple of weeks ago um, with her back because her back is still very sore from when she got the epidural and she said it's the same symptoms of walking, standing for a long period of time, whatever so it feels like your bones are collapsing and whatever and so I'm not looking forward to that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Number nine is your vagina is going to hurt 
for a long, long time. <laughs> um, um, I got a catheter in and they put it in twice and took it out and then the third time they left it in until I had them. So, um, so it was painful afterwards, very painful afterwards for a long time. It was about two months afterwards. It was still very tender and sore and whenever I peed or whatever, it was just really, really sore. Um, and then along with the stitches as well, it's just, it's not fun. That's why um, my bobby pillow or my nursing pillow um, was such a great help to me. I have a video as well, the five best things I got for my newborn and that bobby pillow saved my life because you, there's the little hole in it, you could um, sit on it but not press down on the couch or anything like that. So that was a godsend. And number 10 is your emotions. Uh, your hormones go <coughs> everywhere. Yeah. Your hormones go everywhere after you have a baby and the emotions are just crazy. Uh, one, every time someone visited me to come see them, as soon as they'd walk in, I would just bawl crying. Bawl. And I just couldn't stop myself. Um, I bawled all night the first night. Um, I bawled all night the first night because he was coughing up some of the mucus that was left in his lungs and um, so I couldn't sleep all that night so I just cried because I was so tired and um, just emotional in general. I found myself really scared and anxious a lot as well of him stopping breathing and or something like that like he just wouldn't be there when I woke up or whatever so that played a lot on my mind too so that's about it so thanks for watching this video uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it um, yeah any questions or anything leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye